Hey everybody, this video once again brings us back out to Oxford, Florida. And the reason why we are in Oxford today is because we are back here once again at Brown's Junk in the Trunk sale. I love this flea market. It is my, my new, I keep saying my new Jake's of Florida. It's not quite comparable to Jake's. Jake's will always be my true near and dear to my heart flea market. Jake's is way bigger than Jake's is a little bigger than this. Yeah. I, I just, I, I love Jake's, but, but for a Florida flea market, we have been really enjoying coming out here. It is one of our new favorite places to thrift. They do it at the beginning, the first Saturday of every single month. And I have been out here the first Saturday of every month since I've been down here. And I will continue to come out here the first Saturday of every month. Seeing what we can find, I have found some amazing deals on movies, you have found Pokemon cards. Hopefully it's not boiling hot like it was last week. <laughs> last week it was 9,000 degrees. I think today it's going to be warm, but not quite as warm. So I that's good. Umbrella just in case. But just in case we've got this shade. we got plenty of sunscreen on. We're going to be good. I'm excited. There are tons of people out here. I can feel it. We're going to find some good stuff. All right, so today it's not just Sean and I out here. We're actually being joined by Dave and his family as well. So have you been out here yet to yes. this, this flea market? I have, yes. Have you found any amazing deals? We've had a couple good deals sometimes, yeah. yeah. That's Perfect. awesome. So how many times have you, have you been out here about we by now? We have been out here for the smaller field. So during okay. the hot months, they put it in the smaller field, which yes. is where we are today. Next month, it'll move back to the big field. So. Oh, okay, all right. So this is your first time doing the smaller of the... Uh, the flea markets. There, there's still some good deals to be found. I found some good stuff out here the last couple of times. And again, I'm, I'm determined to find some good stuff today. But if anything, we could just buy a new puppy. Should we get... We should, we should just keep walking because if I look at the puppies, I'm going to want a puppy. Then it's a puppy with wings. We just came across a whole bunch of Xbox 360 and PlayStation 2 games, and we were we were kind of um, intrigued by the Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I, I would have probably picked this up, but yeah, I, I, I'm thinking that's just. It's, I think it's just condensation. Uh, they they put these out very early in the morning, and the um, the dew and everything forms on them, and then you have this going on. So yeah I, I think we're gonna end up passing on on this i mean the disc actually other than being wet doesn't look to be in terrible condition but no. i i don't know it's all it's all gooey and yucky and i now my hands all gross unfortunately what i don't remember is did the ps2 e buy come with memory cards i want to say maybe it did but at the same time i'm thinking it didn't i have no idea if uh we need a memory card or not? I think we have, I think we were saving games. Does does the PS2 have memory like built into it? I I don't know. I, I don't think it. I I can't re I can't remember. You guys can leave your comments down below. I think we, I want to say we have a memory card because we were playing some Tony Hawk on the PS2, and um, I think it saved. But maybe I'm I'm crazy. I I don't know. It's pretty awesome to see things like Aqua Teen Hunger Force and What I Like About You. That's not something you come across very often. I already own that. I already own the, um, the Aqua Teen Hunger Force as well. And there was more Aqua Teen over here, but these were all stuck together. Again, I think it's um, another issue of, of dew or whatever, wet, wetness getting to these. The uh, Kill Bill box set is really cool. That's actually a Best Buy exclusive. I remember when this was a big deal. Back when um, Kill Bill Volume 1 and Volume 2 came out, if you bought, I think it was if you bought Volume 2, you got this box for free. So if you already had Volume 1, you could just stick it in there. So pretty cool. I remember at the time, like, that was that was a cool thing to get. But anyway, that's that's destroyed. So, all right, there, there's some cool stuff in here. I'm definitely seeing some good titles. You got more Aqua Team there and um, Bedazzled. And there's Tron. This was also a big deal back in the day. This was out of print for a long, long time. Obviously not the case anymore so lots of good stuff in here just unfortunately 
It's a whole lot of good stuff I already own. Somehow I completely missed all of this. And by missed all of this, what I mean is I just didn't turn around. So there's a lot of stuff over here as well. Lots of DVDs and even a ton of Blu-rays. But again, unfortunately, it's pretty much all stuff I own. I, I just, I don't see anything I need. But it is cool to see things like Seasons of Six Feet Under. That is cool. I was eyeing up some of these multi-feature sets since I kind of maybe want to start buying some of these now. But I don't need those. I, I think I had that set actually. There was um, The Notebook and uh, The Lucky One. Notebook's a, a decent movie. I've never actually seen The Lucky One. I, I don't know. I don't really need that set. So again, t just tons of stuff. This guy has a ton of movies. I just don't see anything I need. Um, this is pretty awesome. The, uh, the Simba and the Mufasa print. You were saying you already have this, have this. hanging up in your house? Yeah. That is cool. That is pretty awesome. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I need yet another Disney print. We have so many that are just kind of um, laying in a corner collecting dust as it is. So that's cool but I'm gonna pass. I remember when you were little, I wanted to get you one of these so badly, but every time I would find them, they'd just be crazy expensive. This one here, yeah, this is cool. This is the one that turns into either a table or a, uh, a Lego table. That is really, really cool. Some of them actually have like a, like a bin underneath it so you can put all your Legos in there, which is cool, but this is neat. I don't know. You don't really play with your Lego anymore. You, you still have them. I'm in a giant bin that I can't really find anything <laughs> around it. Like, I, I tried to build something yeah, with the instructions. Fair enough. Then just, then just dump them out. True. This is cool. This is awesome. I don't know. Again, I really wanted to get you one of these like a long time ago, but now that I, I don't want to get you one, now that we don't need one, I find one. It's pretty awesome to come across a whole bunch of lounge flies. Olivia here was, was checking out all the, all the lounge flies. Which one did you want the most? This one, that is really cool from uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. Yeah. That, that is pretty awesome. Nothing can stop you now from buying this, except it being too expensive. I keep forgetting I have to start looking through records now since Danielle and I, I don't know, collect these or, or pick these up, whatever. It's actually been a while since I've bought a record. I feel like maybe I should pick something up. I don't know what though. I mean, Perry Como is pretty cool, but I don't see us really rocking out to his Christmas album all that much. The Joy of Christmas. Probably gonna pass them on as well. So, I don't know, some interesting stuff here, but I guess nothing I really need. But yeah, I gotta definitely start looking through the, the records more often. Okay, so I might be passing on all the records, but Dave here is picking up some Flip Wilson. That is pretty awesome. You said you're big into uh, comedy yep. records. You got a bunch of those? Yeah, I do indeed, yes. All right, for, for a buck, yeah. Cool find. We're finding a whole lot more records down here all at one dollar piece and some interesting things like a bunch of good soundtracks there's midnight cowboy and all kinds of other interesting things in here that are kind of tempting especially cam song <laughs> sing along that is that is an interesting one probably gonna pass on that though but um we're finding a couple things you want to pick up so you're gonna you're gonna grab the uh, the soundtrack to annie that is really awesome i know you've had a very hard knocked life so <laughs> you definitely need that in your life that is a cool find for a buck and then i'm picking up this the beat street soundtrack that is really really cool so yeah for a buck a piece we're definitely grabbing these records all right well that was awesome we were just gifted these for free the guy goes you know what i'm a vinyl collector from one vinyl collector to another vinyl collector I'm just gonna give these to you. So that that's awesome. We just got free, free records. Yeah. I've been here. I've been I've been up, up what up and down two rows, almost three rows now. I've only bought one thing, and I've so far paid nothing. So I still got all my money in my wallet. I'm I'm liking this. This is awesome. All the Jim Shore figures. I, I love these. That is really cool. And the like Jim Shore ornament set here is really really neat. I love. Look at that. These are so cool. I'm thinking I need to just well, just walk away though before I drop $150 on a, a Christmas that I really don't need. We have so many Disney Christmas ornaments as it is. We don't we don't need more. I mean, well, we're we're gonna buy more, but not not today. That is really cool too. But we also have a thousand like million cups and tumblers. Just just walk away. 
I know, it's the story of my life. I come across a whole bunch of awesome stuff and it's awesome stuff I, I already have. Even the uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still three disc set. This is cool because it comes with the remake and the original as well, which is neat, but I, I just actually recently bought that. There are tons of, of DC stuff here. Like lots of really, really cool titles, but like I said, it's all titles I, I own. Nothing I actually need to pick up, unfortunately. I fully blame Dave for this, for making me look through all the uh, the Funko Pops that I, I don't need. <laughs> Do you still collect Funko Pops? Like, like a couple here I have and there? A couple, yeah. Uh, Certain uh, ones, like no, Captain America's, I get. Okay. Um, but the, uh, I have a couple of Disney exclusive uh, ones, but nothing. The nothing I've, outrageous. I've just been trying to stay away from these things. I, I mean, like, every now and then I'll grab one as well, but for the most part, I'm trying to just be good. Though, when I see things like Captain Planet, I mean, how cool is that? That is extremely, extremely tempting. But I, but I know better. It's, it's, a, it's a road. I don't need to go back down. Did I say I have to just walk away and, and not go down the road of buying Funko Pops anymore? Because there's a whole bunch of really awesome $5 ones. Look at that. There's a Turbo Man. Uh, they got Fozzie Wig here, which is really, really tempting. There's so many cool ones. There's Rita down there. I kind of want a whole bunch of these and at five bucks a piece oh my god inspector gadget what with his flying like helicopter hat that is cool they've got hades this was a hot topic exclusive i don't i don't need these i mean do i need the the peter vankman yeah kind of but uh i, I really have to walk away now I always have to stop and look at the enamel pins in hopes of finding one for a place i have visited but just never got a pin for i'm not really seeing anything i don't think but they do have some really cool pins like all these mcdonald's pins there's a tarzan one there which is really cool look at this universal studios hollywood jurassic park the ride pin that is also really really awesome a lot of these are really cool and really tempting but again things i just i don't i don't need i i, I gotta be good I, I do collect them like i said for places i have visited but since i'm not seeing anything like that i think i can i can safely walk away from these This is something you don't see every day. It's a uh, Leonard Nimoy record. That is pretty cool. This is um, this is kind of tempting, but I, I know I'll never actually end up listening to that, so I'm going to pass. They've got some Streisand here, too. There are people who tell me I'm crazy for for saying that she's attractive, but I, I, I dare you to tell me Barbara Streisand, <laughs> at least at one point, was not extremely, extremely attractive. We've also got village people and uh, some Woody Allen, some cool stuff here, but I don't know. I guess it's stuff I really don't need, probably won't listen to all the time, though. Framing that doesn't sound like a, like a terrible idea. Oh, good. So I'm finding a whole bunch of uh, vital Masons here. Some of these are really, really cool as well. I'm, I'm honestly tempted to buy every single one of these, but I... I don't know. I got to be good. I can't drop like too much money on vinyl Masons today. I I'll, I'll save them and if uh, save, save them for later. If I come back next month and they're still here, I'll probably buy a bunch more of these. But for now, I'm just gonna buy these four here. Twenty dollars total. I'm grabbing the flick, which is cool. This is awesome. It's the redhead from Pirates of the Caribbean. That is a really cool find. There's a Donald, which of course I can't pass on Donald Duck. And I don't know. The Mickey is just really cool. It's like a comic book style Mickey. That is neat. So all right, yeah, I'm dropping twenty bucks on on vinyl nations, which isn't too crazy for me. I don't know though, again, like I said, I'm, I'm so tempted by the rest of these, but I'll just I'll just stick with the ones I, I really want. At the moment, I'm not necessarily in the market for a new bike, though I think very soon I'm gonna be in the market for a new bike because um, Danielle has one, Max has one, Sean has one. I don't have one yet. And I, I, I think I'm gonna need one. This one here is really speaking to me with the, with the drink holder. That's gonna be a necessary thing to have on a bike in the future. I like the fact that it's got a basket. It's got the thing on the back to hold stuff. That's a nice, a nice bike. This one here is, is definitely speaking to me. And I mean, I did bring the van. So I don't know what they're asking on this. My guess is it's probably priced pretty, pretty well. It's a nice bike. But yeah, that's, 
that is tempting. And again, I, I think in the not too distant future, I'm very much gonna be want, wanting to, uh, to buy a bike. Here's a whole lot more records and some interesting things in here like Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. This one is really tempting to pick up, but I don't know. The record's a little scratched. It's not in the perfect, it's not in perfect condition. I, I don't know what they're asking on these. I'm thinking though, maybe if it's a dollar, I'm, I'm thinking I'm still gonna pick this up. Okay, these are pretty awesome. Again, though, what would I do with um, a full set of Harry and the Henderson cards? I, I don't know, but that is so cool. Growing up, this is one of my all-time favorite movies. I, I still watch this movie to this day. It is a fantastic movie. And um, if you don't cry at the very end when uh, John Lithgow punches Harry in the face, then then you're, you're, just, not, you're just not human. That is cool. I don't... I just... Yeah? <laughs> oh my gosh the fact that kids don't know who harry and the hendersons are is, is just is just sad that is cool but i just i got i gotta be good so apparently today's gonna be record day at the flea market we're just coming across so many and there's some interesting things in here that i'm really tempted by but i think I'm just gonna grab this, some Bow Wow Wow. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. I've actually never heard of this album. I don't, I don't have this one. I, I am not familiar with this album or the songs on it, but I do enjoy the music of Bow Wow Wow. So I think I'm gonna pick this up, not for, uh, for eight. They said they would do, do five on it. So yeah, again, not really familiar with it, but I am familiar with their, their music and I do enjoy their music. So all right, yeah, for five bucks, I'm gonna take a chance. Okay, so Ben and Sean are grabbing themselves some Pokemon cards. So you're grabbing the uh, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Temporal Forces. Yeah. All right, so mis a mystery pack there. That is that is cool. So all right, some mystery cards, and then Sean he had to get another one of these. Um, yeah, the, the, a Pokeball with some with some uh, mystery cards yes. inside as well. And no like energy cards. No energy cards. And no doubles either. No doubles, no energy cards, that's all you care about. <laughs> and of course you had to get the Pokeball because you yeah. collect these as well. You have a bunch of these mm -hmm. on your um, your like bookshelf. That is that is cool. All right, so Pokemon cards all around. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the Browns Junk in the Trunk sale here in Oxford, Florida. Not too bad, nothing too crazy today. Just a couple of records, some Vinylmations and some Pokemon cards for you, which was pretty cool. So not a huge haul, but quality over quantity. Pretty excited about the things I found. Finding a bunch of records was really cool. It's been a while since I've picked up any records. And um, those Vinylmations, they were some pretty awesome Vinylmations. The uh, the Redhead from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean alone. I mean, and Flick, that is awesome. Those are um, Vinylmations you don't see too often. And the guy actually said he had more he'd bring next time and we could work out some deals. So maybe some more Vinylmations in my um, future from the uh, from the flea market which is pretty cool and that guy had a ton of pokemon cards and he's always there so you'll probably get more pokemon cards next time as well but all right guys that's gonna do it i'm a sweaty disgusting mess it's about forty-five thousand degrees out there so i'm gonna head home and jump in the pool so as always guys thank you so much for checking out this video be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button check down below for links to patreon if you guys do become a patron i will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts and hit that join button to become a member of this channel. Proceeds from all that stuff helps support the show. It keeps the show going. And if you guys watch this video all the way until the very end, hashtag, let's, ooh, what should these hashtag, can you think of one? <laughs> I'm a puddle of myself. <laughs> Hashtag I'm a puddle of myself. Because I'm, Interpret I, that like, as you I, will. I, I, I Cause we melted. Like, yeah. It is but so we're hot not out there. water or milk or something, so we're ourselves. What he said. 
Hashtag that down below. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you do hit that subscribe button, then I will see you in the next video. All right, thanks for watching, have a good one. Bye. Bye. All right, a bet is a bet. So, there you go. The, uh, the frames were the size you said they were. I, I was wrong, you were right. Everybody gets Starbucks. You know what? So do I. And I save seventy-five dollars on so on frames. Get seventy-five dollars worth of Starbucks. You know what? I drove. Have fun taking an Uber. <laughs> Bye.